So good morning. It's Wednesday, hump day, and it's so good to be back. I had um, last week off, I went up to Darwin and, and visited my daughter, which was lovely, of course, catching up with the family. But you know, it's, it's never without its challenges either. And it just, you know, everybody was saying, oh, you've, you've got, you've had a holiday, you've had a break. And I'm there, no, the, the holiday is here. Here is the holiday. You know, it's, um, I was really pleased to, to, to get back and to practice Dharma. You know, I, I guess there, when I was with my daughter, I really had to practice Dharma. But here, um, Every day, 24-7, it's um, being able to really keep the focus on trying to live a completely meaningful life and this, this environment up here at, at Chen Rezik and being a part of the teachings um, is such, is such a, a blessing. So, you know, I congratulate you all in waking up today. Yes, you have another human, another day to practice Dharma. Uh, what, an, what an absolute blessing, absolute blessing, absolute blessing. I mean, people do die in their sleep, but not us. We're here. We are here and we have chosen to meditate today, um, to be a part of the Buddhist study program with our, our um, Geshe Sultram, a very precious teacher who, who tirelessly works for our, um, our, our, our benefit. So um, today I am going to continue on with the theme that I have been doing is the seven limb prayer. Um, you know, seven limbs are in the lower scope of meditation and that really is, is where I'm at, still just trying to get the foundations of being a good Buddhist and, and Buddhist practice and accumulating virtue and purifying negativities and the seven limbs do that. They do that and more and more. So today I'm taking the seven limb prayer from the King of Prayers. So um, I will start off there. No, I'll start off first uh, with the motivation, of course, and then we will go to the uh, seven limb prayer and then we will finish off with a bit of uh, um, uh, just, just mindfulness, just, just mindfulness not just mindfulness, it's, it's not easy, is it? But hopefully after we've warmed the brain up and really focused and motivated ourself, um, and we'll just be able to relax into the spaciousness of our mind. And then of course, um, dedicate at the end. So uh, just bring awareness to your body. Being mindful of the eight point Barachana posture crossed legs or legs are comfortable. The hands are in um, the mudra of equanimity. Right hand on left. Our spine is nice and straight, so the channels are straight. Our shoulders are back and comfortable. Our neck is straight. Our chin is slightly tucked in, our tongue is tucked in behind our top teeth and our eyelids are just relaxed or just barely open and just looking in front of us. Let's just spend a few moments just reflecting on the, the preciousness of this um, human rebirth of this opportunity that we now have and considering we've lived for many many lives and time is timeless eons eons it's not decades it's not centuries it's eons we have been living for eons and we have lived in all realms We've experienced immense suffering in the lower realms. Lost in the predator realm, hungry and thirsty. We've been in the God realm where there's been pride. 
and general laziness because our life is just so wonderful up there. But now we are living as a human being. And even though it is degenerative times, all the causes and conditions, the respites and opportunities are there for us, freedoms and richnesses. It's incredible, we have them all, all of them. And we're so fortunate here at Chen Razik and being a part of FPMT to have fully qualified teachers who've spent 18 years in their study program, completing the Geshe degree, who've gone through hardships, having to leave Tibet, their country, and yet they come out and teach us with open hearts lovingly really working to benefit us. I mean, and, and, and we see this all the time with Geshe Sultram, such a kind heart. His heart is big enough for us all. I mean, this is what, um, you know, there, there are many Buddhas and Bodhisattvas all around us. I mean, being here in this Gompa, you, you really can feel that energy that all the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas are here around us. So really try and evoke that sense that the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas are present and how fortunate we are to be able to open our heart to their energy. And we do this not, not, not only because of the pervasive suffering that we are all so well aware of. The suffering is all around us. We experience suffering on a daily basis. If we feel happy and joyful, it's, um, it's a blessing. It is the Guru's blessing when we are feeling happy and joyful because generally things are a struggle. I mean, we, we really see this more and more with our friends, with our family, on the news, all the TV shows we watch, a lot of them, all about the pervasive suffering. And the only um, sense of joy that we are able to extract is through our Dharma practice. And this is a... a... a a tried and successful path to true happiness. And we do this with the motivation knowing that cherishing others is the source of all our happiness. This is what the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, they have become Buddhas and Bodhisattvas because they have cherished others and that they continue to cherish others. Even when we're a Buddha, it doesn't stop, we continue to work for the benefit of others. And this is our aspiration, this is our goal. We make the strong wish and the strong aspiration to make definite progress in this life. And you might even have a personal goal of what you want to achieve in this life spiritually or you can just go for the ultimate goal of enlightenment. I mean, that's ultimately what you want. It's what we all want, enlightenment, so we can benefit all beings, not just liberation, we want enlightenment. And really get a sense of the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas around you, being really pleased that you've you are generating, you have this aspiration, really get a sense of their presence. You lions, 
among humans, gone to freedom in the present, past and future, in the worlds of ten directions, to all of you with body, speech and sincere mind, I bow down. With the energy of aspiration for the Bodhisattva way, with a sense of deep respect and with as many bodies as atoms of the world, to all you Buddhas visualized as real, I bow down. Beautiful flowers and regal garlands, sweet music, scented oils and parasols, sparkling lights and its sublime incense, I offer to you, victorious ones. Fine dress and fragrant perfumes, sandalwood powder heaped high as Mount Maru. Imagine that sandalwood powder heaped high as Mount Maru. All wondrous offerings and spectacular array, I offer to you, victorious ones. With transcendent offerings, peerless and vast, with profound admiration for all the Buddhas, with strength of conviction in the Bodhisattva way, I offer and bow to all victorious ones. Really try and make these offerings as real as you can in your mind and, and offering them to the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, even, even the living ones, offering to His Holiness, Lama Zopa, Geshe Tashi Sering, your, your gurus, Geshe Sultram. They say the most precious thing that you can offer is your practice. Offer your practice to them. Every harmful action I have done with my body, speech and mind, overwhelmed by attachment, anger and confusion, all these I openly lay bare before you. I mean, we do live to, through in degenerative times and we do live in the human realm where there is pervasive suffering. So of course we are engaging in negativities on a regular basis. And it's not about giving ourselves a hard time about it. It's about just acknowledge, acknowledging and trying to avoid them. I mean, that's what this um, Bodhisattva's way of life is all about, how, how we can do that, the types of activities we need to do. So just lay it out there. Confess.
We've, we've, we've done this in um, all past rebirths, past lives. Any negativities have occurred today. Just not thinking positively about somebody or growling at somebody. Or not springing out of bed, being a bit lazy. I lift up my heart and rejoice in all positive potential of the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas in the Ten Directions, of solitary realizers, hearers still training, and those beyond, and of all ordinary beings. I lift up my heart and rejoice in all positive potential. our own and others, rejoicing the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, all their past, present and future activities. rejoicing in our own potential, our own actions, our own efforts, and the efforts of each other here today. Just smiling. Relaxing. You who are the bright lights of the world in ten directions, who have attained a Buddha's omniscience through the stages of awakening, all you who are my guides, please, please turn the supreme wheel of Dharma. With palms together, I earnestly request you who may actualize Paranirvana, please stay with us for eons, numberless as atoms of the world, for the happiness and well-being of all wanderers in samsara. We say this prayer every day, Guru, think of me, Guru, think of me, Guru, think of me, please. Please turn the wheel of Supreme Dharma. Please stay with us for eons, numberless of atoms of the world for the happiness of well-being of all wanderers in samsara, in all realms, please stay. Guru, please think of me. Whatever slight positive potential I may have created, 
by paying homage, offering and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach. I now dedicate all of this for full awakening. Whatever slight positive potential I may have created by paying homage, offering and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Whatever slight positive potential I may have created by paying homage, offering and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Now, just after this, just let your mind settle. And just allow it to be spacious. and maintaining a focused attention on your choice, of your choice, what you focus on.
using the two qualities of mindfulness and vigilance to keep to sustain our concentration.
And now the dedication. And I'll just read a bit more from this King of Prayers. Likewise, may I dedicate, just as a skillful Samantabhadra with pure body, speech and mind, pure actions and pure Buddha fields, I shall give rise to the aspirations of Manjushri for this Bodhisattva practice of all embracing good to perfect these practices without discouragement or pause in all future eons. May my pure practices and activities be endless. May my good qualities boundless and through abiding in immeasurable activity, may I actualize imminent emanations. May my aspirations reach be limitless. May I purify an ocean of worlds, may I free an ocean of beings. May I clearly see an ocean of dharma. May I realize an ocean of pristine awareness. Through this king of aspiration, which is the greatest of the sublime, helping infinite wanderers in samsara through the accomplishment of this scripture, dazzling with Samantabhadra's practice, may suffering realms be utterly emptied of all beings. May the supreme dual body cheetah that has not arisen arise and grow. May that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. May the supreme jewel of the wisdom understanding emptiness that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. In the land encircled by the snowy mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. In this world, all powerful Chenrezig, Tenzin Gyatso, please, please, please remain until samsara ends. You who uphold the subdue's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious God doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes magnificent offerings to the three jewels. Please, please live long. Stay and protect us, all your disciples. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me today. I've enjoyed spending a bit of a holiday with you, practicing Dharma. Like this, this, this is a holiday, guys. This is it. This is where the source of our happiness is found. So, um, so have a good day and go and get yourself a cup of tea because uh, the uh, Geshe Sultram is coming. Hey Terry, lovely to see you. <laughs>